my dudes, it's Demi and it's Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party 2024 and I am back again this year with a guide to this party. I'm gonna break this video down super simple for you to follow along so you do not miss a thing when you come to Not So Scary. First, we're gonna take a look at all the entertainment, then we're gonna take a look at all of the activities, then we're gonna check out some Halloween snacks, and then we're gonna look at the exclusive party merch for the event, plus so much more in between. So now, let's get into it. Let's do Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party 2024 and let's go get into some high drinks. Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party is a separate ticketed event. It runs on select nights through October 31st. The event is from 7 p.m. to 12 a.m., but guests can enter the park starting at 4 p.m. After you scan into the park, you are going to receive your party wristband. You have to wear this the rest of the night. If you are already inside the park and need to pick up your Not So Scary wristband, you can find cast members in Tomorrowland across the Monsters and Glad Floor, in Fantasyland in front of Philhar Magic, and in Adventureland across from Pirates of the Caribbean. Make sure to grab yourself a party map. This map is the guide to the party. It gives you show times, where the characters are meeting, the snack offerings, trick or treat trails, and so, so much more. The Magic thing. Kingdom closes at 6 p.m. for regular oh, park guests. So after you get your wristband, you have to make sure you go through the party entrance right next to Tony's Town Square. Oh, and there's like a DJ here this year. Hi, friends, welcome to the party. Thank you. So good. Thank you so much. So good. Thank you. Wow. And you're going to find the cast members handing out your trick or treat bags because, yes, there is trick or treating here. Thank you so much. And here is the bag for this year. So cute. Let's boo this. And when you first enter, they give you a full size thing of candy. Thank you. Peanut butter MM. Oh my goodness. They have added even more on the walkway and into the party. It's Cruella de Vil. Here. You here. Right now. For this Halloween party, Tron and Tiana's Bayou Adventure will be running on a standby line, making it much easier to ride the attraction. But while on a normal park day, guests ages 14 and up cannot wear costumes, during Not So Scary, everyone can dress up. Including me. And if you are not on TikTok, you're probably like, what is she wearing? Is it her 21st birthday? No, I wish. I am Jojo Siwa at Epcot on her 21st birthday. Look it up, it's hilarious. For the people in the park that don't know who I am, they keep telling me happy birthday and I will take it. I will take that it could be my 21st. First, let's see all the entertainment offered here at Not So Scary. Over by the Country Bear Jamboree, coming out throughout the evening are the Cadaver Dance. It's the Dapper Dance all dressed up for Halloween. Let's talk about character meet and greets. There are a ton. There are so many, but a few highlights are Alice in Wonderland and Friends. Over at the train station on Main Street, you can now see Maleficent. Unfortunately, you can't like officially meet her, but it's cool that we can see her. And unfortunately, there isn't like a schedule when they're coming out to make appearances. You just kind of have to catch them. Over at the Town Square Theater, you can meet Mickey Mouse. And here at the Town Square Theater, you can meet Jeff and Sally. They start meeting at 4 p.m. Once again, just like last year, at 7 o'clock right now, they have a 35-minute wait. Everybody runs to go meet them, and it's like 120 minutes when the park first opens. So just wait it out, and I'm sure the line will get a little lower come around this time as people are starting to figure things out for the party. So in the same spot where we saw the cadaver dance, you can see the hitchhiking ghosts. They 
flip-flop, there's no times, you just, if you get lucky, you see them, and they're so cool. In front of the Winnie the Pooh ride, you can meet Pooh, Tigger, Piglet, and Eeyore dressed up for Halloween. This is a very popular one, so be prepared to wait. The Wicked Stepmother and the Stepsisters are meeting next to Pinocchio Village House on the right-hand side. This is so cool. The line is so long for them. You can meet Elvis Stitch across from Monsters, Inc. lab floor. Look how cute he is. You can meet all at the same time Goofy, Minnie, Daisy, and Donald. And I want to let you know, my friends waited an hour to meet them before when the party first started. So I would come back maybe a little later in the day. This is what the line looks like right now. And it's quarter to 10. So it's still pretty long, but I don't know if it's an hour like for them. But look how stinking cute they are, man. Oh my gosh, look at Donald. Basically, the lines for characters is what takes the longest. I got to meet like one character because I had to wait before like things were happening just to even get close to being toward the front of the line. And so it's like you're waiting either before or you're waiting after and it just what takes the longest, unfortunately. Oh my gosh, hello, Alice. Hey. Hello, Hatter. Why, hello there. Oh, you've got four just like me. Uh, yeah, we met. Hi. And, and um, even though it does say that I'm celebrating a birthday, it's not really my birthday. Um, it's my costume. It was somebody's birthday. So it's still my unbirthday. Yeah. So Yay! On, on, on birthday, if you want to feel icy. I think so. Yeah, have you guys had a really fun evening? I can't believe I'm the last person that gets to say hello to you tonight. Oh my goodness, what an <laughs> honor. We might have to celebrate with some cake or some tea. Oh, ooh, some that's, that sounds good. Do you and, have a favorite kind of tea? Oh, oolong. Do you ever have iced oolong? I had it in Japan, and I now go to a special Japanese store just to get it because it's fantastic. I don't yeah. know. I think I had a long tea once, and all it did was make me stretch all over. <laughs> One arm sticking out of Bill's house and one a leg and I told you would? I think so. Oh, I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> and do you like cake or biscuits with your tea? I, I like both. Oh, yes, I like both. But nothing that would make me grow too big or grow too oh, little. Oh. And you ought to remember what size you are. Yes. So you can find so honestly, if I could get one that makes me bigger just to see some shows and fireworks, because everybody's so much taller than me, that would help. Maybe just a really small bite. Yeah. Have just, the doormat just, stick you off. Oh, that's a good idea. That's a great idea. Yeah. Over in Adventureland, across from Pirates of the Caribbean, are the pirate van. Ooh. Yeah, what very did, glittery. Where did you get the Your treasure? Hmm? The treasure? Oh. Oh, oh the treasure on my on my shirt. Ah, wait a minute. Oh. What is this? Your 21? I went into the Amazon to get it. Ah, the Amazon. <laughs> and what is this number? Two and the one. Two, what is it? Well, I, I'm, I can't lie. I'm not 21, but the person that I, I'm in costume you, is. You can lie. 21. You're a pirate. You can lie as uh, much as true. you want. That is yes. true. You can and lie. It's Halloween. You can lie. Yes. So when you are actually 21, but you, you need to get one. I'm, I'm like almost 30. She's almost 30, but she's, but she's not 21. Oh, that's right. She's dressed up as someone younger yes, for Halloween. Yes, yes, yes. A younger person for Halloween. She's gone as you. Yes. What might I drink? She's um, she says she's 30. Coca Cola? Coca Cola. Oh, what? Uh, I'm old John. I drink Coca Cola. When I see Marina, I always shout, Ola. Ola. <laughs> No, stole <laughs> I stole the button. I stole the button and, and I stole two. her entire outfit to so I could have her 21st birthday. Oh. Yeah. So the three biggest pieces of entertainment at this event are the fireworks, the parade, and the Hocus Pocus show. The parade has a 9.15 showing and an 11.15 showing. The Hocus Pocus show, 9.05, 10.35, and 12 a.m. That's through September 28th. After that, they add a show at 7.35. And then you have the fireworks. There's one showing at 10 p.m. So my hat can work two different ways. You can go to the fireworks for 10 p.m., get a great spot toward the front. There's a lot of great projections and Jack Skellington comes out. Then you're right there in front for the 1035 Hocus Pocus Villain Spectacular. Then scooch over to the curb and you're there for the 1115 Boot to You Parade. Or alternatively, what you could do is go to the fireworks, 
and then go do something else for a little while and then come back and get a spot toward the castle for the parade and see the 12 a.m. Hocus Pocus show. And I only say that because a lot of like character meet and greets close a little earlier. So maybe if there's one that doesn't have a, a long wait, you can do that in between. But really, it's, a, it's, it's hard to crunch that time in. But those are your options. Just remember, things take time here and it's busy. So try to relax and have a good time. But let's first see the incredible Boo To You Parade. He's looking to find his perfect grave. Yeah. He's the bringer of Halloween fear. Beware, the headless horseman is here. Oh my God. Oogie Boogie is on. Well, you see, I think he scared us and made our nightmares come true. 
true and then you gray and you ain't gray. I liked it. Oh, enough. We get it. <laughs> Another party to which I wasn't invited. I suppose for such an occasion, I could conjure a few. Bring poison apples and give us a fright. We call for it death and disdain. A desire for birds all covered in spots. From fear in our hearts to the hearts of our hands. With a sorcerer's power to give, but not take. No manners be proper, they are the two faced are not so scary friends to me. I put a spell on you. And now, you're mad. <laughs> you can't stop the things I do. I love. Oh, it's been 300 years. Right down to the day. Now the witch is back. And there's On your and now are the not-so-spooky spectacular fireworks. They happen once at the party at 10 p.m. It is about five minutes to 10 o'clock, and it is packed here. So if you want to have a spot closer to the front, you're gonna have to wait here a little bit earlier than you thought. Tomorrowland is the Descendants Dance Party. Starlight Cafe, you'll find the Disney Junior Dance Party. Come on, you're a meerkat. You're a meerkat. Oh my god, they're playing freeze dance. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's so cute. Sonic, what are you, Sonic? What yeah, Sonic. Right, How much you have to freeze like you're doing that? Freeze like you're doing that? Okay, we gotta have some balance if we're doing ballet. Good job, Sonic. So there's another bit of entertainment that I couldn't get to see tonight. It wasn't advertised and I didn't know what was going on. Caroline Max was at the front of the park again. There were no show times, he just appeared. So keep checking the front of the park if you do want to see Caroline Max. Now let's check out all of the activities offered at Not So Scary. Our first activity is trick-or-treating. There are candy stations located throughout the park where you see those Mickey icons. That's where all the candy is. So there is a ton of different places. Hi, trick-or-treat. Thank you. Trick-or-treat. Whoa, thank you. Our next activity is Disney Photo Pass. There are special Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party exclusive magic shots. Just ask your Photo Pass photographer. Next, the cutout photo ops are back again this year in the hub on Main Street. You can find this one, Legend of Sleepy Hollow. 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, across from Sunshine Tree Terrace in Adventureland. Our next activity are the rides. This is a limited event, so it won't be as many people as there would be for a normal park day. However, this event is sold out and you can feel it, but Pirates of the Caribbean, only a five minute wait. That's amazing. And some attractions have some Halloween overlays. The best one is Monsters Inc. Laugh Floor. They do some special Halloween jokes. It's also a trick-or-treat location. Hi. Trick-or-treat. There you go. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Halloween. What's so cool is like they just leave the doors open so you don't have to wait for our show to start or end. They just come in and stay as long as you want. Are you doing any dancing tonight? Maybe going out and dancing in the, in the party or just, to, just sitting here relaxing? What's going on? Yeah. Both. Both? Both. Really? Yeah. <laughs> And now you're, you're both in filming. Okay, all right. Are you just, did you just film yourself? It looks like a weird selfie, right? It is the weirdest selfie, yeah. I like it. No, I like it. It's all right. Okay. Nice safety jacket on there and everything. Very cool. Thank Very you. Cool. All right. No, good seeing you. You too, buddy. Space Mountain has an overlay, some Halloween colors. It's a 35 minute wait, though. This is a sold out event, and the wait times for things have been pretty long. And the teacups get a Halloween overlay. Oh my god, this is so cool! Oh, my hands are so sweaty, I can barely turn this. Ah! Oh my gosh! Ah! Oh my god, I want this to be like this all the time. All right, let's see some snacks. There are a ton of snacks that are exclusive for Not So Scary, and there will be no way to try to cover them all, but I will be showing you a few of them, and I will link below the Disney Parks blog post where you can see all of the available options that are here for the party, and it also tells you what snacks are available all day in Magic Kingdom. First up over at Sleepy Hollow Refreshments, and I just want you to know this really long line can be avoided because this is on mobile order, even for the exclusive Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party treats. I got the new Madame Leota Seance Candle. It's red velvet cake and cookies and cream mousse. It's so cute and I love when they do the little push pops. Here is the inside when you push it. That is so cool. Let's give it a try. <laughs> I can't. Caught it though. It's all over me. Can you hold this please? Yep. Well I guess we're trying it like this. I really like this. This is good because you get all of that creamy cookies and cream flavor and then you have the little chocolate crunchies and it's so good mixed together. And then the cake is nice and fluffy. It's all over me, so clearly, if it's a mess, it's probably good. Um, and again, people are probably waiting on this line for like a half hour or more, and I got mine in two seconds using mobile order. Next, we're hitting up Pinocchio Village House in Fantasyland. 
First up, we have a savory option. This is the spicy meatball flatbread. It's meatball, spicy tomato sauce, provolone, chili and basil pesto and it's a new item next we have the swinging wake cake it's vanilla cake with fruity cereal mousse and i love cereal so i had to get this and finally i got the boo raspberry slushy it's a blue raspberry slushy with marshmallow foam and a little marshmallow ghosty and i've, I've just never gotten a slushy from here before so let's give it a try it's certainly a blue raspberry slushy but you know what, the marshmallow topping on top is really good. And uh, it's so hot because we're doing Halloween in August, so it's really refreshing. All right, let's try this flatbread. Oh wow, it actually is spicy. Like, wow, I've Disney doing a spicy? That's really good. If you don't like spice, this is not for you. That meatball, wow, I'm actually really feeling it. I'm glad I got that slushy. But it's really flavorful. Cheese is good, like honestly, the, even the crust is a little crusty. It, I gotta say, like, Pinocchio Village House, like, is a lot of misses, but sometimes they, they do a good job, and this is a, a good flatbread for sure. Here is the inside of the cake. Let's give it a try. Uh, I forgot a fork, so. That's so good. It is wild. These little bits in here, that's the cereal. It literally tastes like at the end of the cereal when it's like the milk is full of like Fruit Loop. It's just milky, like Fruit Loops. You know what I'm talking about? The milk gets fr fruity. That's exactly what this tastes like. This is so cool. I love this. Wow, that's this is so cool. So it's very creamy and like because it's all mousse and then just like it, it, it's kind of like it's it's not crunchy cereal. It's like cotton mushy, but not in a bad way. And it's just it tastes like Fruit Loops. This is so good. Next up, we're gonna head into Pecosville Tall Tale Inn and Cafe. This is the spiced chocolate mousse bar, spiced chocolate mousse, dolce de leche, orange glaze, and sugar candy. I don't like that. It tastes like artificial orange and like kind of like almost goopy. I don't know how else to describe it. It's like very goopy with artificial orange. Definitely not my favorite of the night. Here is this year's popcorn bucket. One of them that's Mickey, he lights up. Another popcorn bucket is the Minnie Mouse Winifred one and they sold out so fast, you guys. But Mickey was still here. Finally, let's head into the Emporium and check out all the exclusive Not So Scary merchandise. We have a lug bag for $65. We have mini ears, $34.99. Glow in the dark shirt, $34.99. Hocus Pocus pin, $17.99. Jack and Sally pin, $19.99. Hyena pin, $19.99. Hercules pin, $19.99. Not So Scary pin, $19.99 with Chip and Dale. So Scary Mickey and Minnie pin, $17.99. Hocus Pocus Tumblr, $34.99. Hocus Pocus Villain Spelltacular shirt, $34.99. Glow in the Dark Party Spirit jersey, $84.99. Mickey ornament, $26.99. Glow in the Dark Kids shirt, $26.99. Not So Scary Mug, $19.99. Another Glow in the Dark shirt, $34.99. Pass Holder Magnet, $17.99. And Pass Holder Glow in the Dark shirt, $34.99. Well, my dudes, that was Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party 2024. I really love this event. I will say though, I'm just getting so sick of these crowds. The sold out events are just crazy. And I feel like every year, even though it's sold out, there's just more and more people, right? I do love that mobile order was implemented here for the party. Every snack that we got was mobile order. I, I really love the entertainment here, but I really wish they would tell us about all the entertainment and not have to try to find out on our own. I really do. I, I think that this party can really use something new that's actually really new because it's just been the same thing over and over every again uh, over and over every year and uh, even though it's fun and you know if it ain't broke don't fix it I think some of us would like to have something that's a little bit different maybe add a little Halloween town I'm just saying but anyway it's still such a fun event and I hope this video helped you for when you come to Not So Scary. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you did like the video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you don't miss anything that goes on this channel. Follow me on Instagram at Magical Hijinx. Check out the Patreon, become a patron. You'll get exclusive bonus content, bonus lives, help with trip planning, access to our Discord, a free dining guide to Walt Disney World by Disney for Foodies and so much more. And you'll be helping me to continue bringing great content like this to this channel. And until next time, my dudes, I hope you guys get into some hijinks very, very soon. Happy Halloween. Have bye. Hello.
will be 